Uh, well, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, data normalization. So, the goal of data normalization, the goal of normalization is to reduce the redundancies. Redundancy, so that uh, so that future, uh, you know, so that we can avoid any future data manipulation problem. Right, and uh, so in order to do this, uh, uh, you know, in order to in order to reduce the redundancies, uh, people come comes up with a lot of research, and then they comes up with five rules. So which is called five forms of normalization. Five forms of normalization, and then another thing is called voice code normalization. So, so in industry, even though there are five uh, forms of normalizations are available in theoretical science, but actually we are we are fine if we can do up to third form of normalization. So, in this video, what we are going to discuss is that what are the these three forms, and we'll give you some example so that you can see like what is the problem, and we'll bring a lot of intuition and rigor so that we can able to understand with some sort of examples. Okay, so the first form, form of normalization, they, it, it says that all repeating groups must be removed and placed in a new table. Let's say, for example, we see uh, this table. In this table, what we are seeing is, uh, okay, so in this table, what we are seeing is, uh, we have a book table, uh, in the book table, uh, we have uh, book ID, title, total price, and then uh, location, location two, location three. So what happens is that this is basically we are s simulating a warehouse. In the warehouse, we are storing books at different places. So uh, my book number one zero one zero, it is available in the warehouse in New York, San Francisco, and you know, and there is no third where, you know location. Whereas my second book is only available in Chicago, whereas my third book is available in all the locations. So now I can ask you a couple of questions. How do you solve this problem if there is another book which is 1013, which is available in four locations Miami, Austin, New York, and say Boston? In this case, you have to go and change the table to add another location. So add another location, location underscore four, and then the book number 1013, whatever the book name and all these things. So we have a location here, here another location, location number four is available. Okay. So this is not a right design because what happens if tomorrow we have another book called 1014, which, are, which is available in 10 locations. So in that case, we are going to add, so that is not that is not a good idea. So so that is mean that means these are called repeating groups. So these are called repeating groups. So what the the first uh, normalization normalization forms talks about remove this repetition of group and put it in a different table. So the solution to that is, you know, the solution to that is here. So what I did is I'm going to check out like you know this part, uh, this part of my table is not repeated. So that is what my book table is, and then. I create another table called book underscore location. There I put all the locations. And then I need to know like, you know, in which you know, the book ID is available on which location. Therefore, I just keep that key, book ID key, and then store the book ID key here, okay? So in this case, if tomorrow I am going to have another book, which is 1015, it may be available in 10 locations. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add 10 times the column here, okay? So I just add, sorry, I just add 10 rows here. Okay, so instead of adding 10 columns, which is not a scalable design, the first number form says that if you see any repeating columns like this, repeating groups, you put them in another uh, table. Okay, so this is the first normal form. Now let's go to second normal form. Second normal form states that all the non key columns must depend on entire primary key. So let's take an example. And with that example, we can just uh, discuss like you know, if uh, this is what uh, we need. So we have a table here. Uh, so in the table, we have this book ID, 
and then who is the author who has written that book and then uh, we give uh, something called royalty so royalty depends on the authors you know how much uh, they earn and then we have another column called author authors authors phone number okay so let's this, let's see what is the problem in this design say and then another thing is that to understand is that the primary key here is a composite primary key consists of both book id and author id so that means the combinations of book id and author id is unique okay but i can have duplicate book id i can also have duplicate author id but the combination is unique okay so this is called your composite primary key so in this composite primary key what you have you have uh, a royalty share so look at the royalty share you ask a question yourself is the royalty share depends on the book the answer is yes does it depend on author the answer is yes because if you look at this uh, thing like so for example book id 1002 is written by two authors right so book id royalty is depends on this book and also depends on this author right whereas 25 whatever we single royalties are here it depends on this book and this author even though this author 900 is also available in another book but so so that is what this royalty share key is depending on the primary key depending on both okay so that is what the entire primary key means okay it's not only on one on both but but if you see author phone number author phone number does not have to do anything with the book id author phone number is just a depend on author id so therefore the rule is break the, the rule is broken because the authority phone number should only depend on should, should depend on both book id and author id which is not so how to solution solve this thing again you just keep this author id to another table and keep author id and author phone number there and then author name and all other information about the author and keep the author id here so i i can solve this thing by i will have a table called book where i have book id and then royalty share and then author id and then i have and then also i have something else like retail price uh, i can say the price of the book uh, name of the book and all those things i will have another table called author so where i have author id and author's name and author's location address and all those things but what i need to store here is the book i need to store this author id which i am storing already so as long as i store author id then i am this this design can conform with the second normal form okay the last one is third normal form third normal form even goes a little beyond the second normal form which it says that all the non key all the non key must be a fact about the primary key it not only depend on the primary key but also a fact about the primary key so how how do i how, how do i describe that so let's take again another example uh, we have a table called book table and the book table we have a book id book name and then uh, i'm also giving the publisher name publisher dates and also i have uh, this thing called publisher phone number so if you see the problem here is that publisher phone number actually does not tell anything so which is the primary key here the primary key is book id so this is the primary key, okay but publisher phone number does not have anything any does not tell any any fact about the primary key which is book id so therefore it must be removed to another table and the solution to that is uh, very simple just just remove okay so just create two tables like you know as we did in the last second normal form you have uh, book id book table and then publisher table and then I give the publisher phone number here. The same thing we could have done in second normal form, where we, got, we, are take, we are creating an author table. Okay, so author table and then author table, we are creating the author ID and author name and author uh, all the details about the author. But you know, but what we are going to do, we are going to make a key here in the book table that will connect them. Okay? So these are the three normal forms, and the goal here, if you see, if you look at all these normal forms, if you look at the original design. And whatever we modified every time you see there are we are we are eliminating the redundancies right and then there are, there are two more forms of normalization available but those things are never ever you know, you know very in, in 
is is not is not much uh, used in the in the industrial practice. That's mostly for theoretical, and this is the beyond the scope of this video. Uh, we can do sometimes else. Thank you.